greatest dessert for me is fruit dessert, a sherbet or a granite. And that's what I'm going to do here with raspberry. You can, of course, use fresh raspberry, but it's a bit of a waste of money if you can find at the market so-called IQF, individually quick frozen berry, so there is no sugar in it. So that's less expensive. As good, sometimes even better, because when they pick them up, they are really ripe. And instead of putting sugar in it, I put a raspberry preserve, and uh, preferably seedless, because you have to strain it anyway. A dash of water, and that's about it. You know, I mean, for that recipe, it's very simple. And that's it, you have a beautiful, what we call a coulis, coulis of raspberry. Now you want to strain it. Some people say, well, I don't really have to strain it, and that's up to you. But for me, there is too many seeds, so I think that straining it is improving it. So the first thing you do, you bang it this way to make it jump. You know what I do sometimes, even though seed, I put that in my vinegar. You know, raspberry vinegar. That basically all there is to it. You can freeze it in there. I like to freeze it more in metal. The metal seems to, to do better. At least 35, 40 minutes. You can leave it overnight too. And that's it, ready to be served. I like to present it, you know, in a beautiful like martini glass like that. Just wet the side with a bit of lime or lemon. Maybe a bit of sugar here. And you just pile that up in the center. And this is a dessert fit for a king. The raspberry granite like this. And now it's beautiful and delicious. Happy cooking.